Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams. As I have gotten older, I become tired more often, and the things I used to do that I would take for granted, I find are physically impossible. I need more rest than I did when I was younger. But there is a promise in Hebrews chapter 3 and 4 that says anyone who has trusted Jesus Christ as their Savior has entered into God's rest. God has not promised a believer they would not have any physical problems here on earth, but he has promised us that when we trust Jesus Christ alone for our salvation, our destination has been confirmed. Hebrews 9, chapter 4, verses 9 and 10 says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that entered into his rest, he also has seized from his own works, as God did from his. If someone thinks they have to do anything other than believe in the finished work of Christ for salvation, they definitely do not have peace or rest. Whenever the element of works is added to grace, there's turmoil. If anyone trusts in works, then the constant question is how many works and when is enough enough? Thereby, they cannot see God as a God who loves. They picture him as a God who is to be feared. Fear in the Bible means to respect and honor God, which we certainly should, but it doesn't mean we should have an attitude that God is out to get us. Remember, God loves us. That's the only reason Jesus Christ died on Calvary, to pay for our sin. In 1 John 4, verse 18, it's written, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who has fear has not been made perfect in love. I'm a father and grandfather, and I love each and every member of my family. And I certainly don't want any of them to be afraid of me. They do respect me, and it's all because I love them. In verse 19 of 1 John chapter 4, it's written, We love him because he first loved us. We learn to love God more and more as we study his word and see the wonders of his grace. His grace was demonstrated on Calvary when he paid for our sin. The Bible very clearly states that we need only to trust him for eternal life. It's written in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, By grace are you saved through faith. And God's grace is what keeps us and provides for us as well. I recently read a book that was written by a former member of a cult. The author said they were taught that a woman was saved by bearing children and that the husband is actually her savior. This is totally unscriptural and blasphemous as well. They've taken away the work of Jesus Christ and have placed it into human hands. They have a practice of baptizing for the dead as well. However, if someone doesn't trust Christ while they're alive, they're lost forever. Anyway, water baptism doesn't save anyone. Only faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ is the only means of salvation. When we place our faith in him, we're baptized, which means we are cleansed by the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1.13 says, In whom you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation in whom also you were sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise. When a believer in Jesus Christ for salvation dies, they go directly to God. Second Corinthians says that when we are absent from this body, we're present with the Lord. So we see that there is absolutely no reason for water baptism for the dead. If they have trusted Christ alone for salvation, they are with their Savior. If they have trusted anyone or anything else, there's no amount of baptism that will save them. In John 8, 24, Jesus told the legalists, you will die in your sins if you believe not that I am he, the God and the Savior. While we are alive on this earth, we must decide to trust in Christ alone to have eternal life. If we were to die in unbelief, we would have eternal damnation. One lady who has been a member of this cult left it because she said she could not ever find any satisfaction or peace. Only Jesus Christ offers peace and rest because our future is in his hands and not in ours or any other humans. This has been Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. May the grace and love of God become more real to you in each and every day. Goodbye for now and thank you for listening.